Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about mastering, especially in techno, and we're gonna do what I would call some homemade mastering, and I call it like that because, in my opinion, a mastering should be done by a mastering engineer or someone who does that for a living. There is multiple reasons for that. First, he's probably better at this than you because he's doing that seven now a day, five days a week. Second, when he's gonna master your track, it's gonna be his first listen, so it's gonna be like something new to him, so he might hear things that you didn't or you can't listen because you already listened to your track hundreds of times. And there is another point as well, like maybe you are not really that much into mastering, like me personally, and you don't wanna get into too much of that technical stuff and you rather someone else doing it. However, I think it's good to have a little bit of knowledge just to kind of enhance your track in the way that you can see how it would sound if it was mastered like how he would compete or compare to other track and that's what we're gonna do today i created a rack especially for that so you don't have to get into too much technical things but i will just show you how with a few parameters you can kind of enhance your track and that can be pretty handy for example if you're a dj and you want to try your track into a club and you don't have time to send it to the master so you do your homemade mastering and this way you can try it out and see if it was mastering or not so today is not going to be the in-depth tutorial how to master your track uh, i think there is better people than that that can teach you really how to do it properly or the technical stuff as well. Today it's just really like how you can enhance your track easily with a free a button rack that I just made. So when I'm doing my mastering chain or my homemade mastering there is kind of five key points I like to do. Now this is in guideline and you need to do it only if you need it. It's not something like you need to do all the time each step all the time but it will be first using a glue compression to kind of glue your whole mix and make it a bit more cohesive. Then I will usually use EQ to kind of rebalance frequency if needed. I will try usually to enhance a bit the stereo at the bit of of depth is possible and then I will try to improve the perceived loudness and then finally it will be some final limiting all right and that's what we're gonna do with this rack so let's jump into Ableton so you have my Ableton session here you can see I have four different track for four different type of techno sub genre depending which genre you're doing you might need a more aggressive master or no depend of your taste as well but obviously I needed to try to make the most versatile rack so trying to find the run balance to have enough parameter to be able to tweak according to the sub genre but not too many to don't get too lost neither the point is to be quite effective mastering chain so don't spend too much time so for the demo we're gonna use this big time techno track that i've basically creating during my live stream session and it sounds like this and we're gonna transform it into something more like this Right, so then we go into the rack and you can see you have kind of six different section like six different i try to color code to be easier to understand and use all right so i'm gonna put my headphone because i need to talk in the same time that i'm showing so the first one is the glue compression and it's pretty self-explanatory it's gonna glue everything you can go extreme or Bring things a bit more in the front as well then you have a bass boost and a high boost so just is gonna be the eq to boost the low or the high So this you have this mud macro because I usually found that there is a bit of mudginess in the mix somewhere between 150 hertz, 400 hertz, and I usually cut. So that's what I've done. Now that being said, it's not always the case. So when the macro is at the minimum, you don't have nothing cut. But it's always good to maybe go have a sweep, see if something is improving or not. And if you feel like nothing is improving, just don't use it. So let's have a listen here. Yeah, feel around there. Then you will have clarity. Basically, it's just gonna add some clarity. It's gonna boost certain frequency to kind of enhance the sound. Again, be very gentle with that. Maybe 
with just one db so then you have few steroids section here where so there is not really like a steroids effect in ableton by default so i have to use like a mid side eq and boost the side so it's not really like creating width it's more like uh, enhancing the width that already exists but yeah it does the job here again don't go too crazy because you might have some weird <laughs> Now let's talk about bass mono. This is basically allow you to get everything under a certain frequency in mono. So here it goes until 200 hertz. So to be honest, and until recently, I thought everyone was putting everything in mono under one of, for example, 120 hertz. Uh, so more and more tracks now have stereo actually on the low end. Try to analyze the low end and the stereo of the low end. All right, then you have some saturation and warm stage. Uh, this is just gonna improve you uh, perceive loudness. The saturation is just gonna make it louder, and the warmth is gonna you're gonna see. It's gonna add some warmth, some roundness somehow. And then finally you have two limiter so i rather use two gentle limiter than one strong limiter uh, i feel it works better and more gently so i will usually have the first one with just one or two db and the second one with one or two db depend of the track obviously but yeah <laughs> And yeah, that quickly gets you a good master. But yeah, you can try on different techno samjar. For example, if you do melodic techno. Now with some raw techno. All right, and that's it for today. So I hope you like this video. I hope you gonna like this rack. This rack is available for free. You can grab it in the description. You just need Ableton stock plugin and the color limiter from the max for life creative station. Everything is free. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before to grab the rack and see you soon. Bye-bye.